Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment. Take a simple AMC. We closed at the price of 51.69 yesterday. It was a red candle as you can see right now. However, one thing we gotta account for is that we did open in the price gap up. We did actually end up 3.05% above the previous closing on Friday, so everything's looking very positive. You know, this was one of the difficulty I said about our Monday could potentially end in a red as we have a resistance at 5203 around this area. So it's gonna provide a little bit of difficulties to end in green, but nevertheless, you know, we did end in a red. Another thing though to note is that the high for the Friday was 51.70, but we closed at 51.69. So although we did end um, in a high, don't be relaxed right now because this is kind of the most difficult battle right now. As the price is going up, we're gonna be faced with a lot more short positions coming in. And you know, they need to close us below certain levels. So in this case, if we closed at 51.71, it would have been more positive because of the fact that we closed at a higher price than the previous um, Friday high. And so even though we did close um, very well today, don't obviously don't relax, understand what's going on. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the technical analysis, stats on the stock on tracker, some um, you know some chart patterns, and some other data. So in this video, if you guys find it useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below. Cost you guys nothing, but help get this video spread out to the whole community. On that, let's get straight into the video. So firstly, let's look on stock on tracker here, and still 1.2 million shares available to borrow. You know, it says here that I'm from what we see right now. Obviously, we did face a lot of we had a lot of um, you know, it's a doji candle, meaning a lot of uncertainty. So I'm assuming here the shares available to borrow is actually they found more shares available to borrow rather than some of the short positions being covered. This is one of the things we were talking about. Going down here again, options activity. You know, again, like I said, guys, we're only going to see more OTM going to in the money this week because of how the price is going up, which could lead to that gamma squeeze. There is no short data available yet, no short percentage. So let's forget about that. One thing I found pretty funny was actually... Um, this particular pattern so it should be oh no so it should be this one here so this is the very rare stack of fibonacci cup and handle which proves the price will only double or quadruple tomorrow so again guys look this is a stagger pattern you know now i do want to make a dis disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice and also that was a meme so please don't think that this is an actual pattern i just thought it's quite funny moving on so on S3, the squeeze score is 100 out of 100. The high short interest is at 99.05 million shares. Current short interest at 19.36. But if we go over to Ortex over here, our current short interest is around 101.86 million at 19.92%. And we have around 114.59 current shares on loan. So the shares on loan is similar. However, the, the change was the current, um, this short interest from, I think it was roughly 94 to 101.86. So, bit of difference, um, you know, more short positions coming in, which just proves again right now we are at a critical level in terms of the chart, in terms of the price we need to be watching out for. Again, guys, people are trying to bring us down on these certain levels and it's important to understand, you know, when um, hedge funds will be kind of doubling down on the short positions. Like I said, guys, right now, the reason why 52.03 is a crucial level to be looking at is the fact that this was the previous consolidation, meaning that there was a previous support um, for them. So it's our resistance at 5203 right now. And you guys got to understand how we view resistance is how short view their support. And so whilst this is our resistance, it is the short positions support. And just like how we try to keep our price above the support and not let that support being broken, they're going to try and keep the price, you know, at their support as well, not let, that, not let their support being broken. Because if they... If we break the support for them, if we break 5203, we're only going to short, see more short positions that were um, open down here being closed. And, you know, they obviously want to see that happen. And so they're doubling down on their short positions. And, you know, again, the fact that if we, because right now, what, what's the bullish factor we have on this week? Firstly, you can see that the momentum we have this week is already um, very big. We also have, you know, the potential gamma squeeze. We, we have a lot of options coming into this week. So we, we are only going to see more and more volume coming in. And really, right now, it's just more and more people understanding the opportunity of AMC. And so that's the bullish factor we have right now. And because of this, you know, it's only more, more than likely that we are going to break that 5203. We are going to, you know, break their support. And so in order to beat us, they have to open up more short positions. 
but you know we are more likely to break it we're more likely to end above 5203 and when we do like i said again guys and i'm not, I'm not talking about the hedge funds that are over leveraged that have you know millions and millions of shares shorted but rather some of the sh small short positions that were open down here will have to be closed when we break 5203 which is another bullish factor that will bring us above to 6374 and again guys if you can close above 6374 you know one thing you guys got to notice is that we never closed above you know pretty high i think you can you guys can only see one candle so if you guys want to look at here only one time one day do we even end above kind of this level um of 61.39 so if we can end above this level this would be extremely good for us this would be extremely bullish um and it, closing above 63.74 will be even more bullish for us and you know that will ultimately be kind of the momentum we need to bring us to a new high and to that 300 dollars mark and for the moas to happen again guys you know the moas could be different price i'm not here to put it down on price you know we could definitely see very high prices for the when the moas happen comment down below what you guys think the, the moas price will be but one other thing to note is that the rsi right now so the rsi we are you know at this resistance one thing to note, and this is why you know i'm even more bullish in the fact that we are looking to break the this 5203 very soon is the fact that we are at this resistance right now we are building up and our rsi is still not over 70 yet meaning we are still not in an overbought condition. Now, we are very close towards going above that 70, meaning that we're going to be very close to being in overbought positions. But normally, when we come to support like this, the things we need is the RSI to go over 70. And so when we do break 5203, we definitely need to be seeing the RSI being over 70 to break that 5203, or at least that will help a lot in terms of breaking that 5203. And when we do, obviously, you know, then when we break the 5203, RSI is going to be over 70. When it's over in the 70, we're definitely going to see the price drop. So there is nothing to worry about it. Just like how I told everyone, you know, we may see the candle end in the red today, but there is nothing to worry about because, again, we, we you know, closed in an increased percentage, so up 3.05. We closed, you know, again, very close to the support. So overall, looking bullish. And just so when we do see the price break over 52.03 and fall a little bit, well, I'm only going to assume that this 5203 is going to then become a support. And when the RSI stabilizes again, that will be our next kind of step going up forward to that 6374 going even higher. One thing to note is that we're more than likely to see the price right now going in small kind of increases like today. So gap up, gap ups, gap ups, and gap ups. Again, like I said, there is the potential gamma squeeze, but when the gamma squeeze does happen, you know, it may cause a bit of sell off because. You know, people are more likely to hold on to the shares when it goes up in, say, 5%, 10% per day. But if they see in a day something goes up 30%, 40%, then they don't want to miss out on that big percentage movement. They don't want to miss out on that big profit. So they tend to sell their shares. And that's why, you know, it's it'll be better. It will be more beneficial for us to actually close in 5%, 10% increments. However, if we do close in 30%, it's still extremely positive for us. It's just that we may see a bit more volatility and a bit more people taking profit. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about AMC and comment down below what you just want to see next. I'm that. Enjoy your day.